Tulsi Gabbard, she's a former presidential candidate. She joins us now. Tulsi, this Washington Post poll that I referenced at the beginning of the show is pretty interesting because it shows the American people are with the case of sanity. It shows that to the tune of 57 percent, Americans believe a person's gender is determined at birth. 60 percent plus do not believe that transgender individuals should be in women's sports. And this one stood out to me. 77 percent do not think we should be teaching gender ID in K through three school. That's, of course, that Florida bill that was so controversial. What are your thoughts? Well, Kaylee, th this should give us some hope to see that there is still some sense of, of common sense and sanity in our society, because mm -hmm. this is the real question that we, the American people, are being faced with. We have leaders in the Democratic Party, unfortunately, and those in our society who are, are pushing this fantasy. They are asking us to take something that is clearly not real and believe that it's real. They're asking us to take something that is very clearly a mental illness that creates this delusion where you have people saying, well, I'm a man in a woman's body and vice versa. And then doctors committing, in the case of children especially, this medical malpractice, trying to turn this fantasy into reality and creating incredibly mm -hmm. negative short and long-term consequences, both physically and psychologically. And so that's really the question that we, the American people, have to, to ask ourselves and to answer is, are we going to live in a society of common sense and reality, or are we going to buy into this insanity uh, and this fantasy? Are we going to allow, and this is one of the reasons I left de the Democratic Party, is because we have the Democratic Party of today uh, selling this fantasy and, and catering to it and, and giving credibility to this fantasy, the, these mental delusions, all because they think it'll give them more political power. A, a party that is willing to do anything, especially things that are damaging to children, right. all for the sake of political power should be frightening to everybody. And, and that's what astounds me about this, Tulsi. I mean, look, this isn't left or right. This is common sense. These are kids. These are children. This is sterilization. But the degree to which it's, and it's not just Democrats, but the media covers for this because those polling numbers I cited yes. to you, that poll was commissioned in March. It was not until May that we get a headline from the Washington Post citing the data that, in fact, the American people are on the side of common sense. Why is the media buying into this, too? This is yet another example, Kaylee, of, of the collusion between uh, the permanent Washington Democrats, the mainstream media. We see it in big, big tech and social media, people being banned from different accounts because of, quote unquote, misgendering someone and frankly, just not going along with the insanity. And that's where it's critical for us, even as we see how pervasive this has become for we, the American people, to, to have the courage to stand up and say, no, we live in the real world. We have common sense. We care about our children and we will stop those who are trying to abuse them from being able to do so. This is a very real battle that each and every one of us has a role in fighting to protect our kids and, and to protect our future.